Mr. Rogers was an inspiration to many, aiding people coping with difficult situations such as divorce or the death of a pet. While Generation X still remembers his legacy, we wondered what Mr. Rogers meant to people of all ages. My grandma put it on every time I came home from school and taught me to be a good neighbor. Growing up, he was basically my hero just because I grew up watching like all of his shows and everything he did to the point of I went to Pittsburgh and went to the Carnegie Science Center and waited in line for like two hours and met him. He like was really like really generous with everything. He even like gave out a ton of stuff from his show and stayed I think it was an hour and a half after the event to still great people who didn't even get the chance to meet him. I feel like being a neighbor was kind of a metaphor of just being a good person. Like he taught you to treat others around you with respect. Uh, my name is Greg Hartung. I'm a adjunct professor here at Penn State Beaver and actually teach a radio class called Radio Practicum. I met Fred back in um, 1996 and uh, the reason why I met him was because I was producing radio for a um, radio station in Pittsburgh and he was a guest. He ended up going into seeing his ministry or his mission in life being caring for family and their children. And that became his ordained sort of um, call to ministry. So um, Daniel Stripatagorite right now is an animation. It's a kids TV show now, an animation called Daniel Stripe Attacker. So the so Fred lives on. <laughs>